This is my walk and tone at home. So this workout is 20 minutes. I'm gonna do it with you in real time. It is suitable for absolutely everyone. We're gonna do intervals where we're gonna be walking for 30 seconds, then we're gonna move on to doing a 60 second total body move. I'm doing it with you in real time, you don't need any equipment, and you're always gonna get a 15 second preview of the total body move. So just start marching on the spot. We're gonna be burning calories, we're gonna be getting fit and toning up all over. So let's get ready for that first move. Let's go for doing 30 seconds of walking. So what I want to do as your online trainer is make your fitness fun but also effective and try and bring some variation which is why we've got some green trees for this first bit so just keep marching or walking around the room so this is low impact today but we're still going to do what I call high intensity so we're still going to really get your fitness up and really be shaping up and toning up all over two and one now you carry on marching on the spot and I'm just going to show you the next move you've got 15 seconds to restart so all we're doing you have one leg out to the side and then you sweep it across in front and you're bringing both arms over now what you might want to do is just start with the leg movement first and then bring the arms in when you're ready so let's go for doing this for 60 seconds halfway through we're going to stop and then change it to the other leg so if you need to place your hands on your hip just bring that leg across so it's to the side and then you're bringing it out in front and you're crossing it slightly over the opposite leg your arms are at shoulder height you're just sweeping them across now where this is working it's working your arms your waist your abs and your thighs halfway through we're just going to stop and then we're going to take that to the other leg so now bring the other leg out to the side arms across and just sweep that across and what we're doing by drawing that leg in front and over slightly just means we're really engaging through the inner thigh known as your adductor we're also doing what I call a lateral motion and a transverse a rotational motion as well so we're working through the waist and it's really important to always work your side muscles just your just not your front and back muscles all right we've got another five seconds and we're going to take it straight back to a 30 second walk so let's bring that back so marching on the spot for me now 30 seconds now you can walk around your room march on the spot if you want to you could even take it for a light jog so we're going to do this for another 20 seconds then we're going to do another total body move so let's just keep moving keep thinking of the benefits you're getting from this workout you're doing really well We've got another five seconds coming up from now and I'm also going to show you that preview of the move so you just keep moving you can join in that move as soon as you're ready this one we are just just doing a straight leg kick with a clap underneath and again this is a total body move it's low impact so we haven't got the jumping or the jolting on the joints but what we are doing is we're creating a dynamic move through a full range of motion we're working multiple muscle groups here your shoulders your arms your waist your abs your thighs your glutes so we're really going to get your heart rate up and by taking your arms above heart level as well is going to increase that intensity doing really well we've got another 40 seconds left on this let's just keep that going good and if you're not already definitely come and find me on Instagram because I post up daily motivation also on my Insta stories I do um, YouTube links to videos so if you really want to be motivated then come and find me then every day you can follow a workout that I suggest it just makes it really easy you can click on the Insta stories and it takes you straight to YouTube all right that's good let's keep going keep the abdominals tight whilst we're doing this that's good and we've got last 10 seconds from now and then we'll take it straight back to another 30 second interval of walking let's go four take it three two and one so bring that back to a march on the spot for me now and what is important, do make sure that you are landing nice and softly on your feet. Think about your posture, pull your shoulders back, keep those core tummy muscles pulled in nice and tight. And as I said, you can be walking around the room, marching on the spot, you can even take this to a light jog. All right, you're doing really well, and that's good. And let's take that last seven seconds from now. Again, keep thinking of that posture, keep thinking of the benefits, and we'll have a look at the next move coming up. So for the next one, we're doing a lateral leg so you literally take the leg out to the side and all we're going to be doing is changing the arms so we're doing double arms so we start with down and down across across and then up 
and up. So doing that for 60 seconds. So it's down, then in front, and then take it straight up. And also with these sort of exercises, really good for your coordination as well, because you're having to think about what you're doing. And the mind is so important to keep that healthy and fit as well. And this is also great for working on so many aspects of fitness. You know, it's more than just about health and fitness. It's also about your coordination. It's about your balance, your flexibility, everything. This is the whole package. And this is why this workout is going to tick all those boxes. All right, that's good. Let's just keep that going. So we've got last 20 seconds coming up from now. And think about where you're toning here, working your back, your shoulders, your arms, your waist, your abs, your thighs, your glutes. That's good. So we reach it up and up, then punch it down and down to the side, side, up and up. That's good. So last few seconds coming up, then we're going to take that straight back to that walk. So we're walking at home, but hopefully if you're someone, perhaps if it's really bad weather or if it's dark or some people just don't like to be outdoors and I wanted to bring you some trees and make it a little bit fun. It's a bit crazy, but you know me as your online trainer, I love to think outside the box and you know, I've got 940 videos up here and I'm always trying to think of different ways to be creative to make it really fun for you because this is something you need to be doing every single day to feel your best, your health is the most important thing you have. All right, so next move coming up, this one, nice and simply, we are doing a knee lift and we are just doing a side crunch. So you're literally, arms are up and you're just bringing your opposite elbow towards your knee. What is important with this, make sure your feet are slightly wider than hip width distance apart. Keep those tummy muscles pulled in tight as you do this. So let's just look at where you're working whilst you're doing this. You're working your chest, your shoulders, your arms, your waist, waist, your abs, your thighs and your glutes. So again, it is a full body move. And we're also going to get your heart rate up. And the great thing is here, what we're doing is working balance, flexibility, coordination. It's so good for the abs as well. So many people think doing things like the plank, but if you think about it, it's a static move. You don't get your heart rate up, it actually puts pressure on your knees and your back. So this is far more effective. That's good. And this is really lovely. It's shaping and toning the waist because we're doing that twist. And remember, your body moves in three different directions. It moves forwards and backwards, as considered one. It then moves sideways and rotationally. And this is where this workout, we are engaging all three of those. All right, let's just go last four, take it three, two, and one. So let's bring it straight back, 30 seconds. Now remember, you can walk around your room, you can march on the spot, or if you want to, you might want to take this for a light little jog. Let's just keep moving. So we're keeping that heart rate up. And every time you work out, what you're doing is you're strengthening your heart, and your heart is the most precious muscle you have. And the stronger that becomes, and the better your circulation, everything. All right, let's just go four, take it three, two and one. So next move coming up, this time now I've got a little bit of coordination. You bring one knee up, then the other leg comes back, then add in the arms when you're ready. So knee up, step the opposite foot back. And as you bring that knee up, push the arms in front, then you're extending the arms back. So knee comes up, step the opposite foot back. Halfway through, we'll change, so then we'll take it to the other leg. So say you're doing your left leg, left leg up, right leg back, left leg up, right leg back, push your arms in front, then behind. So again, on here, I'm making sure I'm working everywhere. I'm working your chest, your shoulders, your arms, your waist, your abs, your thighs, and your glutes. All right, that's good. And let's just keep that going. At 30 seconds, we'll just pause and we'll stop. And let's now just take that to the opposite knee now. So bring up the other knee in front, step the other foot behind, push the arms in front, and just extend back. And what I would say is for any fitness, health ideas, I've got so much content on my website. Do go and have a look. I've got literally blogs on there for everyone. Um, so I will leave a link down below in the description so you can head over and read my blogs. I've got everything from healthy eating to how to run a 5K. If you're going through the menopause, literally something for everyone, two and one. All right, so let's bring that straight back now to those 30 seconds and let's 
march out on the spot. And really focus for this one on really pulling those tummy muscles in nice and tight. So we're really engaging what's called um, the transverse abdominus, which is actually your deepest abdominal muscle. It's a bit like a corset. And the stronger that is, the more it shapes your waist, but more importantly, the more it protects your back. And this is why exercise is so good. It's not just what we look like on the outside. In fact, let's think deeper. It's actually what we're doing on the inside that counts. All right, so next move coming up. This is like a real little curtsy and just a side sweep with the arms. Really nice move. So again, if you want to, if you find the coordination a bit hard, just start off doing the leg movement to start with. So you're just stepping that foot back and behind slightly and then just add in the arms. So this is really incredible at shaping your waist. All right, that's good. Just keeping that going from one side to the other. And travel around the room. You can stand on the spot or if you want to, you know, walk around your room. Keeping that going, that's good. And with this one, again, if you think about it, we're doing a lateral motion and we're also doing like a rotational. So we're really working all those tiny stabilizing muscles as well, which also then helps prevent us from injuries because our body is strong all over. And what I would say, again, head to my website if you want to see some incredible before and afters and also just stories of people, how they've come off medication, following my workouts, how doctors in America and in India, all over the world and now prescribing my workouts to their patients so um yeah if you want to have a look after this workout then definitely head over to my website all right two and one so let's get ready again another 30 seconds make sure you are landing nice and softly on those heels for me really pump through the arms keep your shoulders pulled back have your chest lifted tummy tight and keep thinking what you are doing right now is you are investing in your mental well-being your fitness levels, your health, your energy, literally everything. That's good. And let's just keep that going. And let's take it last five. Let's go four, take it three, two, and one. All right. So next move coming up, we're going to do quite a bit with the arms on this one, but let's start with the legs. So you bring the heel in front, heel in front, leg out, leg out and then behind behind and when you've got that add in the arms all right so again I'm going to get your mind working on this so the arms come out to the side then they go behind behind then the arms come up and up out to the side side and behind behind keeping that going so you can see here while you're doing that let me tell you you're working your chest your shoulders your arm your waist your abs your thighs your glutes your black and we're not doing a single squat in this workout but what I am doing is I'm shaping you up all over that's good so let's just keep that going really good keep working that through doing really well you've got 30 seconds and if at any point you need to take a break and grab some water the beauty is you can just hit that pause button and don't forget this is completely free you never need to go to the gym you don't need to ever spend any money on getting healthy and fit you can always do my youtube workouts completely for free and spread the word because i've got something here for everyone so if someone has perhaps an injury or if they're in a wheelchair i've got all my seated workouts literally everyone is catered for all right let's bring that back 30 seconds land nice and softly and if you want to you can march around the room or you might want to do 10 seconds where you take it up to a light jog that's good, just keeping that going. So we're just keeping that heart rate up, keeping that workout going, doing really well. Let's get ready for those last 10 seconds. And we are well over today's, well over halfway's workout today. So you're doing really, really well. And hopefully the time is flying. So next move, this is a fun one. We're going to do four wide steps and then we're going to hold it there and do 10 punches. And then we're going to travel it back. So you step out wide. Imagine you're, I don't know, stepping over a puddle sideways because we often do that. And then punch it for four uh, for ten so you do four of those side steps hold it there and then ten power punches really keep those tummy muscles in tight once you've done your ten step it wide as if you're stepping over something and we just travel that for four and then do those punches and the great thing is here you know again we're just working multiple muscle groups this is what is so important with exercise you want to make sure you're working everywhere that's how we prevent injury and that's how you get healthy and fit all right, that's good. We've got another 30 seconds of this. So as I said, even though we're not doing like jumping squats, burpees, 
high impact. This will still get your heart rate up and will still get you amazing results. All right, that's good. And let's go last 15 seconds and really punch that out. Nice, strong power punches. If you want to work a little bit harder, you can always punch those arms directly up towards the ceiling. That will work your heart a little bit harder. Four, let's go three, two and one. Let's bring it straight back now for another 30 seconds. Doing really well. So let's march on the spot and really focus on this one on good posture for me. So pull your shoulders back, have your chest lifted, really work through those arms, get those knees nice and high, make sure with those heels you're landing nice and softly, keep those tummy muscles pulled in tight, and you've got another five seconds to go. So let's just keep that going three and let's go two and one. All right, so next move coming up, this time now we're gonna do a hamstring curl and we're gonna add the arms. So we're just bending through the elbows and the um, knees, couldn't think there. All right, so we're gonna be doing that and what we'll do halfway through, we're gonna change the arm position. So let's just go for doing those knee bends again if you need to, just work on, get the leg movement and then bring in the arms. So I'm just gonna show you again, there we are. So even I get stuck on these and I know what I'm doing. So let's just bend through those knees. So we've just got those arms bending through. And if you are on Facebook, come and find Lucy Squad. We are a group page and it is just full of the most amazing, women, even men connecting all over the world that are on this same journey. Let's just change those arms now, bring them across that are all here just to focus on being our healthy and our best. So if you want a bit of support and accountability, definitely come and join us there. All right, that's good, keeping that going. And then we're just gonna change those arms once more. If you want to, you can then bring them up, reach that up, that's good. So again, this one, look at where you're working now, your back, your shoulders, your waist, your abs, your thighs, your glutes, keeping that going, three, and let's take it two and one. All right, so another 30 seconds. We've nearly finished today's workout, so let's just keep going. And I think what's great with the Facebook is People just share their stories, their journeys, and there's nearly about 16,000 of us on there now, and everyone can relate to someone there. And I think sometimes, you know, just sharing your journey really, really helps and helps motivate each other as well. All right, let's just go last four, take it three, go two, and one. So your next move coming up, this time we're gonna be doing a knee crunch. So we're gonna do 15 seconds on one leg. So you're gonna just work the same leg for 15 seconds, pulling it up. Then after 15 seconds, we'll change to the other one. Have your arms straight up and now pull in. So go 15 seconds, you're doing the same leg. I know it's hard to tell with my outfit, I could be doing either, but just keep going. Same leg, 15 seconds for me and then we'll change. All right, that's good. So this one here, now take it to the other leg. So really keep the tummy tight. So this is a slightly smaller move, as you can see. We're just working the abs, the waist, the arms, and the thighs, and we're just doing a one direction move, but this is amazing for your core. Let's get ready now and take that back to that other leg now for me. So tummy is really tight. This is like doing a standing sit up and plank, but it is way more effective. All right, that's good, and let's get ready for last five seconds, and we'll change that to the other leg. So you're just doing now other leg, knee crunch, tummy tight, really pull down with those arms, keep those tummy muscles pulled in as tight as you can, belly button tight to your waist, and let's go last five, take it four, and then three, two, and one. So again, let's just take that for another 30 seconds, so march around the room, we are so close to finishing this workout, so let's just keep going that last little bit, and remember if you want to, you could take that to a light little jog, you can march a little bit faster, you could even do a bit of crazy dancing if no one's watching, let's just keep that going. So for the last one minute total body workout, we're gonna have some fun, because you can freestyle, I'm gonna give you two moves, so you're gonna see them right now we just go straight into it you can choose what one you want to do so you've either got your clapping 
or you're just going to punch from side to side this is the last bit and then we're just going to finish off with 30 seconds walking so let's just keep going so punching those arms across up and up or take them down to the side or if you want to on the right just follow doing the under the leg clap so both these exercises are again a total body you're working all over so as I said definitely if you want to come and look at some blogs learn more about how easy it is to just be healthy active be fit strong and be your best then definitely come to my website lwrfitness.com as I said really easy I'll leave a link in the description below you can just find it there okay that's good and last little bit let's just keep that going and then we're just going to finish off for the last 30 seconds now final part of the workout is we are just going to go for that walk now what I want you to do is just bring your heart rate down a little so just start slowing the pace down for me so if you did like this workout today definitely please give it a thumbs up if you're not already you must come and subscribe and also um, share it on social media on Facebook Pinterest would be amazing. Now what I'm going to say is if you want to do a cool down stretch with me now you will see at the end of the video a link click on that and that take you straight to my cool down stretch. If not if you want to do it on your own make sure you do stretch have a glass of water and well done and I'll see you back on my YouTube channel very soon. Well done for today's training. If you've got any comments let me know in the box down below.